Global Ethics Corner from the Carnegie Council. Keeping home and family safe from intruders is a primal instinct which requires judgment and balance. Few leave doors unlocked and few lock themselves inside, throwing away the keys. Protection from fear is prudent, but short of a bunker we live with some insecurity. When is enough security enough? This primal need for security applies to country but is extended by noble and base motives. Civil officials are responsible for lives under their care and usually take that responsibility seriously. In this sense, no expense or effort is too great. Amplifying this to advocate limits to security, i.e. insecurity, invites political defeat. Finally, security is big business. Millions of jobs and billions of dollars are tied to it. When does fear, responsibility, votes, or money bloom into excess paranoia? Regarding this question, the details of the series, Top Secret America, can leave a deer-in-the-headlights feeling. The change since 9-11 is striking. According to the Washington Post, the top secret world the government created has become so large, so unwieldy, and so secretive that no one knows how much money it costs, how many people it employs, how many programs exist. Using public funds, there are up to 1,300 government organizations and 2,000 private companies working in counterterrorism, homeland security, and intelligence. Among these are over 850,000 people with top secret clearance. What do you think? Do you feel more secure? Is this level of investment worthwhile? Does this world itself become a threat? Is there ever enough security? This is William Vokey from the Carnegie Council. Made possible by the Carnegie Council for Ethics and International Affairs. Post a comment at www.carnegiecouncil.org.